so the objective for the lecture will be uh, different type of disasters that is uh, natural disaster as well as man-made disaster in natural disaster they are like uh, volcanoes like earthquake floods droughts these are all the uh, natural yeah. disaster apart from that the man-made disaster like uh, uh, nuclear bombs like uh, uh, ter terrorism like uh, uh, human population this sort of disaster is uh, yeah. man-made disaster and uh, of course there are uh, different remedies for all these disaster and that is also known as measure for disaster and uh, so all all of we sh we shall see in today's lecture that uh, what of course we shall go through the different type of disaster and what are the disaster management or measure for disaster so basically uh, disasters are hazards that cause destruction or environmental changes so these are very un unwanted or unwelcomed uh, destruction and that consequence to uh, environmental damage as well so the types are uh, natural disaster actually a natural disaster is a major adverse event resulting from natural process of earth examples include flood volcano eruption earthquake tsunami storm and other geological process a natural disaster can cause loss of life or damage property and typically leaves some economic damage in its wake the severity of it depend on the affected population the other one man-made disaster actually it's a human instigated disaster or you can say anthropogenic disaster are the consequence of technological or human hazards examples include transport accident industrial accident while spills terrorist attack nuclear bomb war, war order delivery attacks may also put in this category other type of induced disaster include the more cosmic scenarios of catastrophic global warming nuclear war so basically uh, of these two types of disasters that is natural disaster and man-made disaster in next of our slide the focus will be on natural disasters natural disaster is an act that is caused by natural forces of earth where great change and sometime loss of life occurs now let us what those natural disasters are the first is avalanche so this is on the picture avalanche then that is blackout And then it's a cyclone. The, there is a cyclone here on the screen. Here's a drop. Dust storm. Earthquake. Explosion. This one is flood. Fog, forest fire, gale, hill storm, heat wave, hurricane, landslide. lightning rain snowstorm storm storm tornado there's a tornado tsunami and this the last one volcano eruption so these all are due to of nature's or natural acts that can damage the environment, the nature, and destroy life as well. Okay, some of the natural disasters is shown in the in this slide, uh, and uh, of of all these, uh, we shall discuss the first four uh, natural disaster that is cyclone, earthquake, flood, landslide. 
and uh, the others of the disaster they are also very important that is volcanic eruption tsunami wildfire drought and avalanche disasters so basically uh, in the next of the slide we shall see the first four disaster and what are their measures or what are the disaster management for this particular four disaster among the different disaster the earthquake uh, is the most important uh, and very dangerous so earthquake occur due to sudden movement of earth crust the earth crust have several tectonic plates of solid rock which slowly move along their boundaries when friction prevent these plates from slipping stress build up and result in sudden fracture which can occur along the boundaries of the plates or fault lines within the plates this cause earthquake the point on a fault it will the first movement occur during a earthquake is called the epicenter it, the center of the earthquake is known as epicenter and the severity of an earthquake is generally measured by its magnitude or richter scale uh, so uh, basically uh, it is categorized in four different uh, 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 four different segment less than 4 is insignificant if the richter scale is in between 4 to 4.9 then it's a minor then 5 to 5.9 is damaging one 6 to 6.9 is destructive richter scale 7.79 if the earthquake comes up with this richter scale 7.79 then it's a major one and more than that is very dangerous and it's a enormous you can say so damage to the property and casualties can be prevented by constructing building in the earthquake prone zones which can withstand tremors so how this can how this measurement this measures can take place so this can take place the three points is uh, listed here the first one is strategically placing weak points in the building that can absorb vibration from the rest of the building the second is to have pads of floats beneath the building on which it can sit harmlessly with ground motion and the third point that is that generally we have seen, we might have seen in the hilly area as well where the earthquake is very prone wooden house are preferred in earthquake uh, areas of our earthquake prone areas generally a stream channel accommodate average maximum stream flow However, due to heavy rainfall or sudden snow melt, the quantity of water in the stream exceeds their capacity, and water overflows the banks and causes inundation of surrounding land. This situation is called flood. A flood generally does not damage property or cause casualties as compared to other natural disaster. However, it causes great economic loss as it causes widespread contamination. virtually anything the flood water touches get contaminated so what are the main reason for causing uh, uh, such a uh, huge floods and all this the main reason for increasing severity and frequency of floods are human activities that is constructing road parking space and building cover earth surface and does not allow infiltration of water into the soil this speeds up the run off clearing forest for agriculture also increases floods as we have seen previous lecture that how uh, floods uh, how forest controls the uh, floodation or how flood floods uh, just by absorbing or just by um, uh, absorbing the waters that that's that the forest get from uh, water cycle process to check floods Uh, the money should be spent to restore wetlands replace ground cover on water courses build check dams on small streams move building of the flood plains instead of raising building on flood plains it is suggested that uh, flood plains should be used for wildlife habitat park recreational areas and other uses which are not susceptible to flood damage <laughs> Okay, so landslide uh, is another one uh, disastrous natural disasters. A uh, landslide occur uh, when coherent rock of soil masses move down slope due to gravitation pull. Slow landslip don't cause much worry, but sudden rock slides and mud slides are dangerous. Water and vegetation influence landslide. Chemical action of water gradually causes chemical weathering of rock making it prone to landslide 
vegetation or small plants say consolidate the slope materials provide cohesion by its root system also retard the flow of water and its erosion capacity the happening of landslide uh, can be minimized by stabilizing the slope by this three different method the first is draining the surface and subsurface water the second is providing slope supports like gabions bad stone blocks which is third is concrete support at the base of a slope cyclone is also uh, one of the natural disasters cyclones are recurring phenomena in the tropical coastal regions tropical cyclones in the one one oceans are found because of heat and moisture the management or measure for the it it is that it is difficult to stop the recurrent cyclones some long-term defense measure can help to protect us from devastation such measures include planting more trees on the coastal belt construction of dams uh, dikes storm shelters wind breaks proper drainage wide roads for quick evacuations so this is all for today's lecture i hope that you people will get benefited from it thank you